no nostalgia here as this is a first time watch. For whatever, many, or various reasons, I never watched this as a kid, and now I have. And it was fine. I know how beloved Hocus Pocus is. It's always looked cheesy, and honestly just not my cup of tea, so I avoided it. I just didn't care. And now that the sequel is coming, I figured it was time for a watch. And many, including my wife, we're so excited that I'm checking it out. And I genuinely see why so many hold it in a special place in their heart and love it so much. And I can recognize that and still not feel the things that everyone else does. It's protected by a collective memory when it comes to the criticism of it, and I just don't share in that. It's a fun and imaginative movie with that timeless sense of magic, adventure, and wonder you rarely see anymore, and that's probably why it's so loved. It's cute, it makes one chuckle, and has some strong moments between siblings in a nice, ending that wraps everything up perfectly with a little bow on it. And while endearing, the silliness can be grating. The corniness is dialed so high, and there's a strange amount of innuendo that I don't care to see in a kid's Halloween film. Also not down with the jokes affirming Satan and all that. I know it's played for laughs and all, and I shouldn't take it too seriously, and I don't, but still, it stuck out to me in parts. It's a movie that I watched that was fine. It's not this 90s iconic masterpiece like I was led to believe, and I knew it wouldn't be. Nostalgia glasses can be blinding as a heck of a drug. It's cool to see Doug Jones is in another heavy makeup role. He's the man in anything he's in. Now look, I'm not here to tell you that Hocus Pocus is this overrated piece of junk from the 90s that people put nostalgia glasses on for and it should be shamed and overhyped, blah, blah, blah. Sure, it's some of those things. Is it overhyped? Yeah. Do I also overhype movies from my childhood that I know probably wouldn't hold up for someone on a first time watch? Yes, I do. So I get it. As someone who didn't experience this as a child, it's just okay. Please don't hate me for not loving it, but I also didn't hate it. I enjoyed it for what it is. It's a fun little venture and I'm pretty happy that almost 30 years later that it's getting a sequel and that people are excited for that. I can share in that excitement and appreciate it but I'm gonna judge it by all the same standards that I usually do. And this time I can leave my nostalgia glasses at the door because I don't need them because I don't have to have them. The only nostalgia I do have is that everyone ever always talked about this movie and that I would constantly see ads for it. It was on Disney Channel a lot and I always confused it, ironically, with Halloween Town High, I think is it, which I also haven't seen. And uh, I actually thought, based on the production design and everything that I saw in trailers, that this was a Disney Channel original movie for the longest time, but I don't think it was. Take that as you will. I give Hocus Pocus three out of five stars. Are you looking forward to Hocus Pocus 2? I know I am. It's gonna be fun to watch it with my wife and see her light up at the sequel after all these years. Please subscribe, check out more content coming soon and all the content that we've been putting out this past month. And remember, always look for the good.